I'm Nick Feeney, and this is Legend U. We did a keyboard repeat and relay. It basically takes an input from the keyboard and it decodes it and then repeats it to a second Nexus board, and the second Nexus board prints it out. Um, so, our goals were to interface with the keyboard, like I just said, and decode the input, transfer it to the second uh, Nexus board, as you can see, goes around. Um, decode the data and then print it to the LCD. So that's what we ended up doing. Uh, this is our system block diagram for the two Nexus boards. Um, we have the first one going to your connection with the keyboard uh, to initialize it. And then you get keyboard input for every keyboard input. So we send it over another UART to the second key to the second uh, Nexus board. The second Nexus board initializes the connection to the other board and the LCD screen. And then for every input it gets from the UART, it decodes it and then prints it to the LED. Sorry, LCD screen, sorry. Uh, these are our hardware block diagrams. Uh, the first one you can see just has a LCD screen and the uh, UART to the second FPGA. And uh, the second Nexus board has um, a UART to the second Nexus board and the UART to the keyboard. So this is our design overview. Um, for our hardware, we use two QPAOs for the LCD screen, um, which is the data and control signals from the previous labs. Um, we have three UARTs that, um, two UARTs, as you see based off of the previous hardware diagram, was on our first um, FPGA board that had, that took in, so we had a UART for the keyboard and a UART for the transmitting between the two Nexus board. Uh, on the other board, we only had the GPAO, the, the two GPAOs and the UART for the LCD and the receive. And um, for our software, for the microprocessor with the LCD attack, we have pretty much had a main loop that just constantly checks um, the keyboard if there's any data to be received. And, what, and, it is, and so basically we just pull the status register in the UART. Um, and once it has valid data, then we just send that um, scan code that we got um, onto the UART, the, onto the transmit UART. And then on the second um, record processor with the keyboard with the, with the, key, with the LCD attached, um, we have a, our main loop basically pulls the, pulls the, um, the, the, the received uh, UART for valid data. And once it finds that it has valid data with, from the static register, we basically um, use, a, use, a, use a little table with scan codes, and so, so it trans transfer um, it transfers the scan codes into ASCII characters, and we pretty much print that out into the LCD. Um, for our testing, we pretty much we had to find the baud rate of the keyboard, and we did that using a oscilloscope. And then one of the challenges that we found in this lab was that some of the keywords didn't actually work. So that whenever we press the key and try to find the baud rate, we couldn't find anything. And we had to actually kind of try several different keyboards to find one that actually worked. We also use a logic analyzer um, to s interpret the keys we got from the um, keyboard because we wanted to check to see if we were actually getting what we expected from the UART and the keyboard. And um, for our coding, we used the LCD screen to verify that the correct key was pressed. And also we used the LEDs to kind of see um, values for variables when the logic analyzer wasn't available. And our demo is up there. Um, so basically, we have three different Nexus board. We have the keyboard just hooked up to the PS2 and uh, our UART is connected between. So if we type something like world or something. Oops, I just typed it. Or hello. And if we also have it, if you go off the end. It'll loop back. We can loop back to the other side. Backspace works, so you can type anything and then and also um, the hold key function and uh, caps yeah, lock. If you hold something. Oop, that was tab. Oop. 
<coughs> so yeah. Are you using both lines? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good. Any questions? Mm -hmm. uh, good.